so today we'll be looking at some fps drop and starting issues problem and we'll be fixing these issues so stay with me i'll show you with a proof that this fix actually works So first of all you will have to download this FPS booster pack. You can find the link down below in the description. So first of all in here there is a GPU setting. So if you use low end PC and your GPU is not that high end so there are some low end settings for your graphic cards. For example for AMD I have it for Intel HD and for Nvidia users. But if you have high end PC. Uh, if you are still facing lag issues then you must try this and after that there are some registry optimizations and it's very important to do this it will boost your CPU and your processor first of all we will do CPU GPU optimization you'll have to run them one by one after that there are three things here First of all, there is DirectX properties. And I will show you how this works. First of all, you will have to click the add list. And here you will have to find the location of Epic Games. You can find it on your program file. In here you will have to go to launcher, then portal then in conf uh, then in binaries then win64 and here you will find epic games launcher you have to select it and click open here you have to press add then press ok and make sure these two options are turned on then click apply and ok next step is this tool you can find the link down below in the description for this pack and it's called latency optimizer and it's very amazing tool to boost your game and latency problem for example if you feel delay and stuttering issues on your game you can fix it by just one click and this is the optimizer you can install it and it's just a free version you can download its pro version if you like it and all you have to do is click start optimization then press ok then you will have to go this uh, to this part and clean up extra usage which your PC is taking and it will clean up all the junk files on your PC which take up some RAM and cause you some serving issues after that you are done with this tool now we will run this timer resolution All you have to do is click the maximum and you should see 0.500 here. If you don't see that, then make sure you restart your PC. And you must restart your PC after applying this latency optimization. So let's restart the PC first. So after restarting your PC, make sure you turn on this timer resolution. While you're playing the game, click on maximum and minimize it. Make sure it's 0.500 here. Then the next step is you have to search for graphic settings. In here you will have to find Fortnite. If you can't find it here, all you have to do is browse and go for the exe file of their game. You have to do is click on Fortnite and you will see this option. You have to select the high performance to make sure your GPU is specially focusing on this game. Click yes. Now if you are uh, NVIDIA users, then I have another setting for you, uh, you go to the NVIDIA control panel, then go to this manage 3D settings, then here in program settings, you have to add Fortnite here, and let me show you how you add it here. You have to click press add and your fortnite should appear here as you can see select this and click add selected program and go down and turn the low latency mode to ultra and make sure your max frame rate is turned off 
because don't because uh, it will else it will give you some fixed amount of fps if you have it on for example on 60 and stuff like that so make sure it's all so your game can produce ultimate amounts of fps your pc can provide so make sure to turn, uh, select this option and click apply <coughs> after it's done uh, let's run the game and let me show you